Uh, the illegal logging campaign aimed to stop timber coming into Australia that had been illegally harvested. Um, we knew people wanted to buy ethical wood and ethical wood products, um, but with timber it's very hard to know. So uh, what we wanted to do was to get a law up in Australia that made it illegal to, for timber to come in um, that had been illegally harvested. Um, so we worked with a number of groups at various stages, um, Greenpeace probably being a, a key group, but also with uh, lots of church members, um, both in our Victoria and Tasmanian Synod, but also around Australia. So to start the campaign, um, Labor was elected at the end of 2007, and they'd already promised to introduce a bill banning illegally logged timber from being sold in Australia. So um, we asked our United Church members to write to the government and say, what are you doing about this? We think it's really important and we'd like to see it introduced. Uh, the campaign had a lot of different stages to it. So the first thing was um, the government issued a paper looking at the impacts both on the industry in Australia and also um, the problem itself globally and what sort of things we could actually do um, to make a difference. And then there were several periods of consultation with the public and the industry. Uh, as the United Church, we wrote a number of submissions and we talked to the department. We met with the Minister for Agriculture. Um, we appeared before a Senate committee and participated in lots of roundtable discussions um, as one of the key stakeholders with other groups. At key points in the process, um, we also ran a number of postcard campaigns. And this is where church members were really vital in the process. Um, because we could go and visit bureaucrats or we could go and visit the minister, but without actually having that public support, um, it was very difficult to actually exert influence. So the Justice and International Mission Unit um, took on this campaign out of a consultation that we did around forestry in Australia. And what emerged from that was that illegal logging was actually really important to United Church members. About 9% of timber coming into Australia is deemed to be illegally harvested. Uh, we don't think it's right for Australians to have, be able to benefit from proceeds of crime, essentially. So it was t really important that Australia actually join with the EU and the US in creating a law that put an end to illegally harvested timber coming into Australia. A key issue for Christians is what the gospel says. And we think a key part of the gospel is to love our neighbour. Because we're a rich destination country for illegally harvested timber, um, we essentially benefit from this criminal activity and we have to ask ourselves, is this actually a relationship of love and respect or one of exploitation? Climate change is also an issue that we feel very strongly about and because uh, deforestation contributes to about 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions, uh, this was a way of also working on climate change but also um, having a tangible impact around illegal logging as well. Um, it also picked up on some of our work around uh, bribery and tax evasion. It also tied into our work on trafficking and human slavery. The campaign achieved uh, the introduction of the Illegal Logging Prohibition Act 2012, um, which makes it a criminal offence to intentionally, knowingly or recklessly import or process illegally logged timber or timber products. So it means that any business um, importing timber or timber products into Australia have to actually do a due diligence test and make sure that they've got adequate checks and balances in place um, to ensure that what they're sourcing has been legally sourced. It's still very much in the early days of knowing how effective this legislation will be. We've just had introduction of uh, some more regulations. So whenever a law is introduced in Australia, it's it needs to be tested, it needs to be sorted through. Um, it's a very slow process. So we're, we're still waiting to see how effective it will actually be. But uh, it's really important, I guess, for us to support the actions that the government is taking to make a difference. But yes, I guess it's a, a chance, uh, it's a process of wait and see.